So, as promised, um, the weekly update, and we started the week out, we're doing a lot of work on the fly-by-wire system. We took out this rear assembly, this is the rear assembly drive unit for the uh, rudder uh, in the aircraft, and um, basically uh, measured everything and just made sure that it was still working okay, because we've had some problems with signals or some kind of issue that actually inflicts on the on the assembly itself so it could be this unit it could be the stick and well it turns out that it might be the stick and not this unit so but in any case we could take it out and get it cleaned up and, uh, and check it and uh, put it back in the tail again and here you can see how it's embedded into the uh, tail unit this this rear hatch here is actually the, the maintenance um, opening for that uh, unit and uh, you can see there how the push rods are assembled to that small uh, crank there that is attached to the sprocket and uh, that unit works fairly well but now we found out that we need to change the potential meter in the stick so here uh, the stick has been completely removed from the left side and what I'm holding there is the old 3d printed top part of the stick that holds the trim and the push button for the radio and here you can see the inner part of the stick and the outer part here that rotates around the, uh, the inner part and we now need to fix this potentiometer this big one inside which is a much much better uh, product than what we already used and we think that is going to remedy a lot of our problems but quite a few changes need to be done to be able to get that into it so um, this is the old one by the way and uh, now it's back to the drawing board to see how we can do that in an efficient way so basically took the old one and uh, looked at the design that we already had from before and uh, tried to sketch out something that could work fairly quickly because we don't have a lot of time to be uh, doing all of this now but um, but I figured out that it was possible to with a fairly simple 3d printed part you could integrate the larger potentiometer, still have the other the other components inside, make it just easier to access and maintain and stuff like that. So that was fairly fairly good. Here you can see how that how that trim piece is inside, the big potentiometer there, and <coughs> the radio push button on the front there. So the whole head is going to be bigger, but um, it definitely needs that new potential meter so there's no uh, way about it we need to do that straight away um, so um, this is the beginning of that whole sketching process and after a while the uh, the head looked more like this uh, where the orange part is a lid that can be removed and uh, you you can access all these parts from the top of the stick which is a great improvement compared to what we had um, and the wires will go down in front there um, and this is just before 3D printing these pieces on my, my uh, relatively cheap and old machine and here they are gone so next next update I hope I can show you this in the aircraft um, just to fi uh, finalize this video this week uh, I just wanted to show you that um, the fruits of uh, one month of, uh, of uh, labor basically um, a lot of writing um, the documentation for the airplane which is basically like a technical work log with pictures trying to explain how everything was made but it is a substantial amount of work put in there so uh, that was really good to get that printed out and finally have a physical kind of a uh, manual that we could actually use and, um, and all these other papers are uh, almost ready now to be uh, approved and uh, we're getting really really uh, closer to uh, the first flight so um, thank you so much for watching and uh, you'll probably hear back from me